Hi, I'm Joan. I'm a plant and gardening content writer for my website, plantsintropicalsis.com. I write about enlivening living spaces with tropical plants. And my aim is to inspire DIY gardening culture in my community. Today, I'm at a garden that my garden inspired three years ago. The owner of this garden isn't here to give us a tour, but that's fine because we've come to see the plants and precisely orchids. Now, orchids are in a family of plants that are much prized for their lovely blooms. We buy them when they're blooming, but to get them to be bloomed, sometimes it's challenging, at least I find it challenging. So today I've come to watch an orchid whisperer at work and pick up a few tips. So I hope you will join me on this tour. So do come along. Orchid Whisperer, and um, he's the one taking care of this orchid. So I'm going to ask him a few questions about um, what he does and how he cares for them. This is a dendrobium, right? Yes. This is a dendrobium. Okay, so what, what are you going to do to it? Um, or what do you do? What's what your routine? I do, um, basically what I do when I come to every garden, every orchid garden, is to check each pot, how the plants are doing, um, the balancing, and then if there's anything wrong with them. So I'll know what to do. What treatments for whatever it is. Okay, when you say wrong, what do you mean like wrong? Um, fungi? Uh, fungi, uh, uh, pest. Pest, okay. What kind of pest do orchids have? Um, they have um, aphids. Okay, oh really? Yes, even ants uh -huh. attack them too. Ah, okay. Oh yes, and snails of and course. And snails of oh, course. Yes. Okay. So there's, uh, there's, a, there's a control for every attack. Okay. So, um, Okay, so you first check, get rid of pests. Yeah, so that's like a health check before. Okay, all right. So you're doing this now. And then what I'm doing now is balancing. Okay. I've actually done this. Okay. Uh, the band up there was actually bent okay. because of the, the wind. wind. Okay. So I had to straighten it with two sticks. Ah. On the, on, on the sides. Okay. So that gives it the balance. Okay. And then that one up there, the flower, has a pad. Oh, oh really? Okay. okay. The flower wasn't straight before, so I had to use a tiny copper. Ah, okay. I see that. Oh, yeah, yeah to, hold to hold it up. Okay. Because okay. of the wind. Okay, so because otherwise it could break, it right? Break. Oh, it could break, and that's the end. I was, I was end. at the garden yesterday. Yeah. And when I got there, there was this beautiful banda. Oh, okay. Ooh, nice banda like that. And the wind actually broke. Oh, you know what to shake? Yeah. So, oh, okay. so, what I, so it's, it's important that we check the balancing of an orchid. Okay, so I have a long way to go. Okay, so what I'm doing now, after moving from here, yeah, this one is um, tilting to to, to, the side, to that okay. side. So I want to straighten it because as it grows, yeah, it will bend, and when it bends, it breaks. Oh, really? Yeah, so the balancing oh. is very, very important. Okay, this, is, this is a strong and a very healthy. So it's still growing, it's still going to grow taller than this. Okay. Oh, really? Oh, yes. it's you mean like the whole plant is going to be taller? Yes. Okay. Taller. I've seen some vandas, like almost as if they're planted in the ground. The roots, the ground, come, the roots down, come down, down. Yes, yeah. yes. Some some people actually love planting uh, vandas in pots. Okay. So I will not suggest that. Okay. Unless it's a mukara. Okay. Even a mukara, you can still suspend them in here. Okay. You can hang them up. So vandas like the roots hanging, hanging down. down. And they just want to be free. Okay. Whereas the dendrobiums can plant is in in compost. And then you planted in charcoal. Charcoal. Charcoal okay. is very important. Okay. As compost well and as, um, charcoal. Yeah. You know, I just love. The sight of mosses. Moss, yes. Yeah, it's so cute. Makes it um, natural. Yeah, it makes it really natural. So it's just charcoal. It's just charcoal. Just charcoal, yeah. nothing else. Nothing else. Okay. And some other clients would prefer orchid um, mix. Okay, an orchid mix. Okay. Yeah. And this this is, has a mix and it has some liquor in it, some liquor balls. Yes. Okay, yeah. you can see the liquor balls. Okay. And then this is okay. The orchid mix is actually, um, it's actually tree bark, right? Tree bark. Yeah, yes. so that holds. Yes. This, um, one, this one is water. actually, this one is treated. Okay. Okay, you will see the band out there. Okay, 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 okay. This is straight now. 
you just did that so quickly. Oh, so, so, uh, I mean, that's fine. I mean, that's obviously what you're doing. Yes. There was no fuss about it. You just did it. Yes. Like, okay. I'm still going to grow it all and then the balance is there. Okay. So, no, okay. no, no, no problem with that. This one is fine. And then one other attack that I've noticed here is lizard. Oh, really? Yeah, lizard eats the flower bones. They eat the flower bones. See that? This plant here now. I've had more than what you're seeing. So they eat the buds. They eat the buds. How can we stop lizards? There's no record. I, I honestly, because I have pots black hairs, as soon as they bloom, the lizards eat them. Yeah, so I'm really good looking. Yeah, unless you just change the position. From the wall. Okay, yeah, yes, because they get up from the wall. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Okay, that's good. So I've checked this. This one is fine. Okay. And then another important thing is when the flowers are withering. Okay. You take out the, the spent the, the blooms. blooms. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, that seems... Because they drag nutrients with the... Ah, uh, okay, with the new... With the new okay, one. so the spent ones, don't the spent ones, don't they um, get spent from the bottom? Oh, okay. Sometimes from the top? From the top. Oh, really? They can, they can so get spent from anywhere. anywhere. All right. Okay. That's, well, that seems like a, a lot of work. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you cut them off so they don't drag nutrients with the fresh ones. Okay. So speaking of nutrients, we're going to see you feed these orchids. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. So you're about to feed the orchids now. Yes. One thing I realized about orchid food, and my friend told me that she dilutes the feed. The feed. Yeah. Even further than the recommended the manufacturers', the manufacturer's re recommendations. recommendations. Yes. Yeah? Is that your observation as well? That's the same. Okay. Because if it's too strong. If it's too strong, um, the the board. Before it opens, yeah. blasts. Oh, okay. Yes. Too much um, concentration of feeding is the plants before it. I mean, the uh, the flower before it opens up. Okay. So it's better you over dilute it than using the recommended. Um, okay. So you but you feed once, every week, once, once a, week. a week. Okay. So uh, I understand that you have feeding for um, growth. For growth. And, and then, then feeding for, for blooms. Mm. Okay. Yes. So okay. So I would um, include the link to the feed that you use in, in the description of this video. Okay. So we can go. So let's watch you feeding. So, That's um, a 16 litre knapsack. Well, she must have about 300 orchids here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's, okay. let's just watch so you. I'm going, to, I'm going to start from the back. Okay. Yeah. There's a small um, uh, selection there. Of, okay. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. So when they when they go out of them, it's their small pots. Ah, transplant them okay. into a bigger pot. So I decided to voice over this section because of the loud noise from the construction nearby. I asked Valentine if it was okay to feed the orchids in the sun as he was doing at this time, and he said it was fine. He said the orchids were now used to it. He emphasized the need for consistency to help your orchids acclimatize to the green conditions. So when you start feeding them in the sun, do that all the time. The important thing, however, was to avoid wetting the foliage and to spray only the roots and the potting media. He said it was not advisable to feed them at night because it could lead to rot if the foliage stayed wet for a long time. He also said you could water your orchids twice a day during the hammerton, but to do so before 4 p.m. to allow enough time for the foliage to dry out before nightfall. Always avoid watering the crown, so don't spray from a distance, especially the smaller orchids. It's okay to do so for bigger orchids, but always avoid letting water get into the crown. Okay, and that's it. You're done with this area. Yes. yes. So right here. This is a catalea. I feed only the roots. Okay, but then it's dripping on the yeah, other one. On the the other, other one, but that's that fine. One, that one it's more mature. Okay, mm. so the way you arrange the orchids too mm. would also yes. um, determine how you feed them. Yeah. Okay. So this. One other thing is this kind of. Um, Orchid um, stock. Yeah. You feed the, the stock. Okay. So that it has the nutrients, and okay. then later on, either give you a kaiki or flower. 
Yeah. So this does dendrobium. Yes. yes that's okay. The dendrobium. okay. This is an example of what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. So let's see this. So it's important you, you spray everything. Okay, so With dendrobiums. Or without leaves, just spray them. Everything. Dendrobiums. Okay. okay, so dendrobiums spray the whole thing. Ah, uh, that reminds me, I have one dendrobium I just got. So I was going to bring it along, but I think I, I know what to do now. They're not useless, so they will always reward you. Yeah, that's why I got a dendrobium. Uh, yeah. I've been getting for the I always kids. advise. Uh, anybody that is starting on orchid to get dendrobium, so start with the dendrobium. Dendrobium will okay. always reward you. So, dendrobium So this is look at the long, beautiful bloom. Mm. And how long will the bloom last? Several uh, months. Uh, it depends. This particular um, orchid, this one can last for over two to three months. Okay. Yes. That's fine. So we're here. Okay. This is a small one. This is a small one. Okay. Yeah. So. The mother, the mother Phalaenopsis actually died. Oh no! So we started feeding after the the the, the orchid died. So we don't quickly dispose them of the dead of parents. The dead parents. Oh, really? So far, the um, the root is still green okay. inside okay. and has some kind of um, life yeah. in it. Just keep feeding. Okay. Before you know it, we can bring out a baby. You can bring out a baby. Oh nice! Yeah. Oh that's I have one orchid like that. That's hope. Okay. Oh, nice. So you just feed the baby. You feed the baby and avoid water in the crown. In water in the crown. Oh, why is that? Yeah, because of crown rot. Okay. Yeah. And th that's the crown, right? Yeah, this that's the crown. The crown. Okay, just this middle yes. section here. Yeah. Okay. Because mm. okay. once you overfeed with water in the crown, yeah. the leaves start turning. Black from yeah, okay. Oh, from the teeth. Okay, from so that's a sign. That's actually for for cattleyas. Okay, they will show black um, from the teeth. From the teeth. That's overfeeding. Over, overfeeding. That's okay. too much water in the crown. Okay. But for phalaenopsis, it gets um soggy. Okay, the roots become soggy. Soggy, and then and the, the leaves, leaves, the leaves become, actually, and then the leaves fall off. They fall off. Okay. And then that would damage the main um root. So what happens when if you make that mistake, you just stop feeding for a stop, while? Stop feeding and only give it just minimal water. Okay. Okay. So right now, I understand you. You come to feed these orchids every week, right? Every week, once a week. But somebody else waters them. Somebody else waters them, and my own advice to water them is if it's rainy season, don't water. Okay. Okay. But if it's very sunny. Yeah, like now it's really really sunny. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That reminds me. I haven't watered my orchids. Ah, you have to. Don't starve them. Because okay. they will react to it. Yeah. Just if you miss if you miss watering an orchid for like say a week. Okay. And then they start turning like this. They start turning brown, yeah. Yeah. If you see this, there's a 50-50 chance for it to survive. Oh really? Especially vandas. Okay. This is what happened to this here. This vanda. Yeah, it's the same thing that happened to this here. Okay. So we've been feeding and trying to recover. Oh, so it dried out. It dried out. So, so even in spite of the rain, it dried out. It dried out. So wow. what, what, okay. what you'll expect is new leaves from the top. Okay. The but this, of the other leaves will not come up. But it's not gone. It's not gone. Okay. It's very much enough. You'll check the crown. Okay. And always check the crown. Okay. Alright, so we'll come back to the game after we finish feeding. What, what's the next thing you have to feed? That's it. Okay, so you feed them, that's it. What about fungicide? How often do you apply it from the side? Uh, fungicide, we're not really, we don't have um, fungicide um, attack. Okay. But then we still feed, um, we still use um, a chemical for that. How often? Every, uh, every month? 10 days. Oh, really? That often? But what I do is I do it twice, I mean, twice a month. Okay, twice a month. Yes. And you mix that with the feed? With the feed. Okay. It's very safe. Okay. Okay. It's very safe. Right, so we'll be back when we finish feeding.
about um, materials. So this is um, this is a pot. That, yeah, this is a hanging basket, right? Hanging so basket. this is coconut, coconut um, fiber. fiber. Yeah. Okay. And then you have um, lacquer balls. Yes. And, and what else do you have in here? Orchid mix. Orchid. Okay. This is orchid that's, mix. Um, okay. The wood bark. Okay. Yeah. So that's what we had seen before. I'm seeing some. I'm seeing coconut husk here. Yes. And then charcoal. And then charcoal. Okay. Um. What do you find is the mm -hmm. Best material for or most suitable material for orchid for orchids to plant an orchid as a as a new first I start yeah. like, uh, an, uh, an orchid garden. Yeah. Uh, the best material to use is charcoal. Okay. Yes. Why is that? Um, charcoal somehow absorbs water. Okay. And then the root easily travels round the charcoal. charcoal. Okay. Yes. Better than better than orchid mix. Oh really? Better than, um, uh, Okay. Okay. So when you get more experience, you can experiment with you other things. Okay. So that's that. yeah, that's comforting. So, so I, I, I got some orchids in um, the orchid mix. So I have to move them to charcoal. charcoal. Okay. All right. I can show you an example of what I'm talking about. Okay. All right. Um, in front there, you see that this one is planted in charcoal. Okay. And then the the roots yeah. are free to move okay. around. Oh, okay. Yeah. Whereas if it was in, if the, it was in um, the orchid mix, orchid it just mix, stays it just stays down. Okay. Uh, it grows down. And they want the roots want to move about, to explore about, to moisture to and yes. get air. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this is okay. That's so that's why I always recommend uh, charcoal. Charcoal. Okay, that's good. All right. Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining me on this um, on the orchid okay, tour and the orchid with Spirit Valentine. Thank you so much for showing us tips or while you went around your your orchid rounds, yeah, your maintenance rounds. All right. Thanks. And um, if you enjoyed this, please do remember to like this video, share, and subscribe, and then also check out my website for plant care guides for planting tropical species. Also, to the next video. Bye.